Hey folks, welcome back to Abundant Life Homestead. Continuing on our series of maintenance for my Kubota B7100 HSTD. Today we're going to do the fairly routine job of changing the engine oil and filter. And one thing I like to do when I've got an upcoming oil change, I take this motor treatment, which is really the uh, Royal King brand of seafoam, and while the, in, uh, while the engine's running and good and warmed up, I'll pour about half of this slowly into the crankcase. It'll steam out a bit and does a good job of cleaning some of that crap out of there, get it down into the oil pan before the change. Just like normal rest of the week next week we'll give it an oil change when I do I'll put the other half of the can in with the fresh oil is it something that's necessary not really but uh, I think it works every engine that I've ever worked on that I've been that I've used this on both in the fuel tank and the crankcase it's uh, come out pretty clean when you get when you get down into the parts so it does its job so before we get into the actual work, let's talk about the schedule, the oil, and the parts we need. So if you got a Kubota manual, it's a good time to pull it out. If not, you should try to find one online and download it. A couple books I use is the owner's manual, the service manual. I also have the shop manual, the workshop manual, but it, uh, it doesn't have much on this on the oil change part so schedule for oil change by the book is change the oil every 75 hours and change the filter every 150 hours don't get uh, too concerned if you don't follow that schedule exactly I, I don't know many people who do I don't do it I put about 200 hours a year on the tractor and I change the oil twice a year around October and around April so by the book, year-round you can use 10W30 oil in this engine just fine. Or in the summertime you can use SAE30. In the uh, fall and spring use an SAE20. And in the winter use an SAE10. Now, I used to switch back and forth between SAE30 for my summertime and SAE10 for my wintertime. I don't do that so much anymore. I still keep a 30 weight around um, in case we're gonna have like a super hot summer and I keep an SA-10 around in case we're gonna have a super cold winter. But I've come to give the, uh, give the tractor the same treatment I do all my diesel trucks. And I run a Rotella 15W40 year round in this tractor in the average year. And that's what we're gonna put in it this year. Get a semi driving by. He probably uses the same stuff. So from what I've seen and read, this stuff is pretty well formulated for tractor engines. Uh, the stabilizers and detergents that are in it are made just for something that you run. Run it hard for a week and then it might sit for two weeks. It's not going to break down on you like some regular oils will. So 1540s worked well for me for several years. That's what we're going to do now. Other parts you're going to need is an oil filter. I don't put a Kubota brand oil filter in it very often, but I needed some other parts that I could only get from Kubota. So this year I went ahead and ordered my, all of my filters just from Kubota. You've probably noticed or heard that when I changed the uh, fuel filter. It was the same way I put in a Kubota this year. Uh, for the B7100 HSTD, that part number is HH150-32094. If you go to any uh, tractor parts store, 
you can get a uh, similar and equivalent to be honest with you i usually go to a john deere dealer because we have one close and we don't have a kubota dealer anywhere nearby and they hook me up with a filter that fits is very similar and it's been a couple years since i changed the uh, gasket the copper gasket on the oil fill the filler plug so we're going to put a new one on this year went ahead and got one from kubota while i was at it this is a part number 15109-33660 so now we can get started on the actual work so we put the motor treatment in this about a week ago we've ran uh, two or three hours since i did some mowing with it haven't done a whole lot that, that's that's pretty good and so today all we're going to do is start the engine we're going to let it warm up to a normal operating temperature Let that run several minutes. So when I did the cleaning video on at the start of this series, I mentioned that uh, keeping cleaning your engine you can help you find the little problems and get them fixed before they become big problems at the time i kind of assumed that my valve cover gasket was leaking just by the amount of crud inside of the engine and now starting with a clean engine i can say with certainty i'm getting fresh oil that's hot i'm getting fresh oil my valve cover gasket is definitely leaking i'm going to place one on order but let's stick with the in, changing the engine oil at the moment. First thing we're going to do is remove the filler cap. This is just going to help vent everything while we drain the oil into the pan below. Okay, down below, left side of the engine. Right here is my oil pan. And right there is my oil plug. That plug, like many other things on this tractor, is a 19 millimeter. Oh, drop the socket. I'm good at that. Set this off the side. I will let this drain a good few minutes since we just shut the engine off. It takes about five minutes for all the oil from the upper part of the block to uh, make it down into the pan. So we'll leave her sit here and drain a while. So while that finish is draining, we'll show you the rest here. And I've got the side off, the side panels off to do the maintenance. You certainly don't have to have that panel off to do any of this. There's holes in the side so that you can get to your dipstick and your filter. And normally my, uh, my plug is covered up by the uh, subframe for the backhoe, but we pulled that off last video just so we can get to some other things. So if you don't, if you don't look at the side of your tractor and see your plug down here, it's, it's right up behind that subframe. So, I'm going to pull the dipstick. Set it off to the side. I imagine some mechanic out there is going to give me crap because I've got a Fram oil filter on here. And like I said, I normally go to the John Deere dealer to get my parts because they're in town. And last time I went, all they had was a Fram. We'll just deal with it. Used it. Change it out every six months anyway. So we're putting a, we're going to put the Kubota one on it this time. Uh, 
And it's not pertinent to get this ring completely clean, but as I said earlier, oftentimes cleaning things helps you find little problems before they become big problems. I don't really see any problems with this. No nicks in it. A little bit of one on the edge down here, but it ain't going to get into the seal. So. Still getting a pretty good drip on the oil pan, so we're going to leave it sit a while. Okay, now we've got all the oil out of the crankcase. We're going to take our filler plug here or a drain plug take the old gasket off of it it's getting a little worn out that one's, I replace this about every two years put the new one on that's just a cheap little piece that can do a lot to help you help save you from any pan leaks Thread her up in there and tighten her up. And we're going to take our new filter and get some fresh oil on my finger. Rub it around the gasket. Just because that helps it make it seal. Now normally if the filter went in this way, I'd fill it up before I put it on. But with the filter going on horizontal, it doesn't do you much good to fill it up first. And you end up spilling a lot of it if you try. So these they recommend just put on empty. And we'll let the engine fill it up. We'll just have to keep a close eye on the oil. Every hand tight. And we're going to try to get her all oh, about a quarter turn past hand tight with a wrench. Not a whole lot of room to move in here, but. There we go, that's about a quarter turn. Now back around top side, give me a funnel to pour the oil in. Start off, I'm going to start pouring in the oil. I'm going to put in about a quart. Doesn't have to be exact on that because of what I'm doing. Taking the other half of the motor treatment. I'm going to pour it straight in. Now what this motor treatment really does in your crankcase is gets all the little particles moving and stuff. If you've never used it and you start using it, um, you're probably going to have to change your filters quite often until you get your engine good and cleaned out. After that, it's just it, it's good maintenance. Keeps your stuff from getting all uh, gummed up and the solids from sticking to anything. So now we're going to go back to the oil. One thing about oil in these, if you look at your manual, especially if you have the original manual, you can see everything from 3.1 liters to 3.9 liters, which is about 3.2 quarts to 4.1 quarts. And uh, it seems at different times Kubota used different oil pans on these. I think I've got the 4.1 quart, at least with the uh, with the motor treatment and pretty much a full jug. I get real close to being right on with my dipstick. We've still got about half a quart, about half a quart in this jug. 
We're going to start it up, run it a few minutes, check it, see how much more we need to add. Put my dipstick back in before I do that. Okay, now we've let it run five minutes and sit five minutes. And check our oil here. We're right here, and our full mark is here. Well, our full mark is here, so we're right at the full mark. There we go. Now, remember we put that oil filter on empty. It's going to take a little while for that to uh, work out all of its air. You should be checking your oil every time you take off anyway, but the next few times are going to be imperative. And you'll probably add, you'll probably add another quarter of a quart anyway over the next few, few starts. But as for now, the oil's done. So thank you for joining me today as we uh, work our way through some maintenance on the Kubota B7100 HSTD. We got the oil changed today. It's a pretty routine job that uh, every owner should be doing at least a couple times a year. If you don't use your tractor a whole lot, you can get away with it once a year, but uh, I like to do it twice. Got a few more things on the list we're going to be taking care of here shortly. We're going to go through all of the uh, hydraulic oil filters and screens, get those cleaned out. The hydraulic part includes the uh, rear differential. I'll be getting the front differential soon. I want to get that stuff done before winter. Also got some wiring to do for my auxiliary lights, removing the horns, stuff like that. So, still a few things on the list. If you want to follow along with everything we're doing here on the Kubota, make sure you're subscribed. Follow us. Um, also appreciate any likes, comments you have on the videos. And just until next time, keep on nourishing your dreams, cultivating your passions, embracing the beauty of God's creation. We'll see you then. We hope you have a blessed day.